this is a piece that is being um, hailed as a as a new mark for like immersive journalism, for uh, spatial journalism, uh, and it's kind of great. I mean, the, the way it was put together and the access you got. I mean, I don't know. I, it's rare to get this kind of access to these kind of stories in in Palestine. Um, tell me about how that changes authorship. And as as say, if you were a journalist and you're going in as a journalist, you can you can select and you can highlight and you can contextualize. This makes it much freer. Mm -hmm. How do you how do you think that affects the way we take in these kind of international stories and journalism itself? Mm -hmm. yeah, so I just watched a, um, a VR film and it was kind of your uh, your traditional journalism and it, it was in Gaza and they were it was a journalist and they were talking to you and they kind of had a microphone and they, it was a little so bit, natural. Yeah, and I was <laughs> like, this is different than I, I think what we've uh, we've created a, a, a little bit um, you know it's uh, you know it's interesting like when I was just watching the the flatty version of, of your film there were so many different things that I that I caught watching it flat that I didn't experience because maybe I'd missed it or whatever but it's like for me I, I loved what I created you know and, and that's kind of the uh, the authorship and it, I mean that's kind of the best way I think to it answer your question is like I really loved the film that that you made that I interpreted you know that came into my consciousness um, you know so you know for uh, you know my mother's wing it's it's really about uh, and I think specifically in VR it's trying to create those spaces that people can't explore and and can't take ownership of